Good day all. Today we're going to be having a look at the U-Installer, which is a portable battery pack POE device that helps you to install any Ubiquiti or Microtech based devices. The first thing to note about this little portable battery pack is that it is 24 volt POE only, so you're not going to be powering up any you know, big backhauls like the Lego waves, that sort of thing. This is specifically for smaller devices, APs, client devices and the like. So this just eliminates the need to have a big extension cord with a separate POE injector and all that sort of thing to power up these devices on your customer's roof. So if you're doing a site survey, something along those lines, you could very easily just take a dish, stick it on the client's roof, or even just hold it on top of a client's roof, power it up with this little portable POE battery pack, and you can start checking the signal, doing an installation, all that sort of thing without running, you know, lengths and lengths of cable all over the place. So the way that this works is, this isn't just a portable battery pack, it actually has a little built-in Wi-Fi AP which you can actually see by the icon at the top there. So blue means that there is a device connected, and you'll see there are a couple of signal LEDs just below that. This, of course, shows what the battery level uh, currently is. There is also on the back a really nice clip for attaching to a belt or something along those lines, and then you've got a couple of buttons that you can play with. Of course, we have the power to physically turn the device on or off. We have the reset external. This actually, if you hold this down, allows you to physically reset whatever device you're powering up with it. So even if this thing is on you know, a fairly decent length of pole and you can't quite reach it, you can just reset it by using this device. Hold this down, it'll reset that to complete, that to complete defaults. There is also a reset pin on the specific device. Now what that does is allows you to actually reset the U-Installer itself to factory defaults. As I said, this is a small Wi-Fi AP. It's got some default settings. If you would like to set your own Wi-Fi SSID, your own password, whatever the case is, you can configure that on this device. And if you need to, you can reset it just by holding in that reset pin. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna grab my phone, I'm gonna log into this device, and I'm gonna show you how to actually set up a remote unit with the U-Installer. So the first thing to do, as I mentioned, is actually to connect to the device. Now, as per default, you'll see just under the Wi-Fi tab there, it's UBI, semicolon, and the MAC address of the device. That is the default SSID. There's no security on it. If you do need to change that, you can do so later on. But all you need to do is make sure that your phone or tablet or whatever device you're using is connected to that particular Wi-Fi network. Once you've physically got that, you can go and download an app called UNMS. Again, free app from Ubiquiti, and this allows you to detect and automatically set up all manner of different ubiquity devices. So you can see now that I'm in this app, it immediately has detected the power beam that I had plugged into the device. I can physically just touch it and I immediately start setting that particular device up. So you can select your particular country and uh, start setting it up as per your settings. So let's go South Africa, accept the license terms and, terms and conditions continue and now we can get into the configuration so you can see it's a very straightforward process it's very very easy one thing to note as well is that you don't necessarily need to set this up with the app you can use your normal everyday web browser in your physical laptop so you just open up your laptop connect to that same wireless network that i just showed you and you open up your web browser and you go to the default ip address of all ubiquity devices which is 192.168.1.20 as soon as you head to that ip address you'll be um, presented with the normal everyday configuration web page that you typically would if you were using a stock standard poe injector so it takes a bit of a while to pull the configuration through uh, but eventually the app will get all of the different info and you can start setting it up and configuring it as as and however you particularly need so here I can see I'm actually logged into the device. It's starting to pull that information through. I can see the wireless mode. I can see what the SSID is set to. I can see that it's not currently connected to anything. I've got all the different frequencies applied, channels, that sort of, that sort of scenario. So if I go through to the configuration, here's where we can actually start setting the different modes. So I can set this as an access point. If I'm configuring it as an actual tower AP, I can change the SSID on the device. All of the typical settings that you're particularly used to, you can just set directly via the app. Again, you can do all of this through the normal everyday web interface it's entirely up to you and whatever's easiest network settings as well default ips dhcp and then finally all the different system settings like giving the thing a device name so on and so forth you also do have access to the tool system so you can actually send pings from the device you can run ubiquity discoveries this is all from the actual uh, high site device or cpe device that you're actually configuring so that's it. Very, very easy to use, very quick and simple, and it just saves you from having, as I said, long extension cables, long Cat5 cables, when you, all you want to do is do a site survey or perhaps a quick antenna alignment on a client's roof before you start laying all of those cables down, etc. So it just makes installations and site surveys an absolute breeze.